Hi guys. Today um, I'm going to show you how to um, make the Image Pro a uh, Processor Pro to work on Adobe CC 2019 Photoshop and Bridge. Stay tuned. First, um, if you don't have Image Processor Pro, uh, you can actually download it. Um, I put a link in the description box so you can click the link to download it so once that's done um, let me go to um, the installation instruction it's a PDF file and I'm just gonna open that up and uh, let's see so um, it turns out that this uh, manual instruction installation instruction um, is half correct um, in, in this case for Adobe um, CC 2019 products. So if the first step um, in the uh, PDF file uh, directs you to look for these four files and if you um, look at the folder these are the four four items one two three four items here first four. So what you want to do is you want to put place those four items into this folder, scripts folder. And the path goes, you open up your applications folder and then look for Adobe Photoshop, in this case version CC 2019 folder. And then uh, open up the presets folder and the scripts folder. And you will place these four files into scripts folder. Okay. So that's fine. The next set of steps, which is three and four, and uh, step three says to look locate the Photoshop X image processor pro dot JSX file, which is this right here, and then place that particular file in Adobe Photoshop uh, folder, and the path goes. Macintosh hard drive root system library application support Adobe startup scripts in this case CC 2019 Adobe Photoshop and that's where you're supposed to put this file and if you do that it's not going to work so this is where I discovered uh, by placing this file into a different folder and it should work um, as long as you follow the, the steps that I I'm going to provide uh, next. So again, um, if you're looking at the um, manual installation instruction, don't follow the step four, okay? And this is where I'm going to show you uh, where to place this file into correct location. Okay, let me just minimize the uh, installation manual and uh, click, uh, I'll just leave this open. So I'm going to launch Adobe Bridge, which is already um, opened. Um, so you want to follow Adobe Photoshop CC 2019, preferences, and once the preferences window open, you want to select the startup script on the left column and click on the review my startup scripts and this is where you want to place this file here okay um, and again the path is user folder home folder in my case it's uh, C library application support Adobe Bridge CC 2019 startup script. Okay, so make sure that this file is located in this folder. Okay, so once that's done, uh, you can close the uh, window uh, and click OK. And at this point, you want to uh, quit both Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Bridge CC 2019. Um, since I've, mine is already installed, 
uh, I'm just going to go to the next step. So the next step is basically it's exactly the same as before. Um, so what you do is you select uh, however images that you want to convert or process. So I'm just going to select three of these JPEG files. And then once that's done, go to Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor Pro. So once you do that, uh, it, it, it will automatically open up the Photoshop. Um, and then it, will, it was supposed to trigger and open the Image Processor Pro uh, option box. But that's not happening. So um, what you have to do is, uh, once uh, all the files are uh, put in correct location, um, what you do is go to File, Automate, and Image Processor Pro. Now, again, if you didn't um, uh, install the, the last file, uh, uh, .jsx file, into a correct location, you're not going to see this here. So make sure if it's not there, just go back uh, and uh, review the video again, okay? So Image Processor Pro, and I'm going to click on this. And there it is. So you're now seeing the, the usual Image Processor Pro option box. So um, earlier um, uh, on uh, Adobe Bridge, I selected three files, and it's here and all the other options I'm not going to go through. The only thing is I'm going to show you that it is uh, going to be processed and saved as a PDF file. Okay, so I'm going to run it. All right, looks like it's done. I'm going to minimize Photoshop and back to Adobe Bridge and here it is, PDF file and these three files PDF files are, are um, created. So basically it's converted from J, JPEG to PDF file. All right, so um, I hope uh, for those of you who sort of stuck uh, not being able to use uh, 2019 uh, version of Photoshop uh, with Image Processor Pro, hopefully this will work out for you. Um, if you have any issues or questions, you can always place that in the comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please uh, like um, and subscribe. Thanks again.